Oh. It, it's just one time per right. per thing. Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. I'm Mike. And today we're cracking open a semi new bottle of Henry McKenna 10 year. Bottled in bond. I'm thinking you might have liked this one. Uh, actually, this bottle was another, uh, it was purchased by a super fan on the channel, Steve. And he's been over a few times. And every time he comes over, we sampled it, me and him. We cracked it together. But he comes over and he's like, oh, no, that is still good. He keeps trying it. He keeps trying it. I haven't tried it since the first time. And it's been here a couple weeks now. So uh, this is uh, made by Heaven Hill. Uh, the company's Heaven Hill, of course, the Heaven Hill Distillery. The, it is 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye. So malted barley is the secondary grain, as opposed to most of them are rye, and then a little bit of malted barley at the end. So if we notice anything different, uh, it's uh, 100 proof because it is bottled in bond. So it follows all the bottled in bond. It has to be distilled in one distillery in one season. And there's a bunch of rules, like 14 of them that I do. It says uh, bottled in bond? It is, yeah. yeah it is. I, I hope so. But the tricky part is MSRP a couple years ago was like $30. But everywhere now, I think it's gone up substantially because we had a couple liquor store people said it went up to 50 -ish. Steve ended up paying 56 for this one. So and I this, think our local stores is about Right same. around there. It's just one of them things that this was always a $30 and they, bottle. they said they have no re rhyme or reason. It's just... Yeah. Just, Supply and demand. That's what it is. I, 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 that's what I'm jumping guessing. Jumping on the so. Blanton's little game. Yeah. So, a little bit about Henry McKenna came to America in 1837 from Ireland. He settled, settled in Kentucky, and I can't read my writing. And he, he decided that he wanted to make a better bourbon using his old family recipe. So, that's what got him into it. So, this does have a barrel number of 11354, and it was barreled on 429-2011. So I'm going to have to write neat. I don't even know what that word is still. And set out. That says set out. Looks like sex off. That's what I was reading. <laughs> That's exactly what I was like. What the heck? You know, my pen's starting to die on me a little bit too. But I'm not going to blame the pen as much as just bad penmanship on this one. So I we did have this one. Uh, it's been so long. I don't really remember. Jeez. It's built all over the world today. The nose is nice. No, I, I, I don't remember hating it. Let's put it that way. Um, I believe, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I thought in the end. So we're going to, no, the, it, the nose jumps out. It, it definitely jumps out on, uh, but it, it's not that huge, like bread. Uh, it's more of the, the caramel. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not getting like a, a zucchini bread flavor yet, you know, right off the bat. Thank you. Can I drink it? Nice little after flavor. Mm hmm Nice. Yeah. What was the proof? 100 proof. 100 proof. 100 proof. The downfall right off the bat is the price. It, and, 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 okay, so that's exactly what I came down to. I said, I'm, I, it's, I, it's you know, a good flavor. It's got a good nose. I, there's, a, there's a few. To, this has been reviewed by just about everybody. But it was funny. There were two guys that do a review. And for the life of me, I can't think of their name. And I apologize for that. But they hated Henry McKenna. They were like, I don't understand why everybody raves about him, raves about him. Finally, someone convinced them, buy another bottle. Because it is like a single barrel. And uh, they got another Very bottle. And they were like, oh, my God. No wonder why everyone raves about it. Their second barrel was that is phenomenal. But they're bad, they had like a bad, bad, bad my mm. first drink. I can't even talk. A bad bottle of it. Like, it just was, they, they were like, I don't know why everybody says this is good. It's not even good at all. But overall, um, I, I mean, at 100 proof, I, I'm thinking in my head, you know, would this roll with, with like, Knob Creek, nine year. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it, that that it, which is 
what, $40, $41 on an average, and this is 53 This is not a bad $30 bourbon if it was, no, if no, it was and, supposed and to be 30 sad, bucks. That's the sad part. Uh, right. You know, it, it's, it's a step above his original, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, I think that's, that was only 80 proof, I think, anyway. I, w I, I will say, too, having that malted barley as the secondary grain, mm. it is a very easy drinker. It is that. You know what I mean? You and still get a little sparkle. You, get, you, you know, it's a hundred. It has ten percent rye still in it. You know, stick what I mean? around a long, long time. No, you just get a little oaky after finish. It's, it's tasty. It's, it it's kind good. of reminds me of the feel that I get with a lot of the weeders, where you're not getting that 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 heavy pop rocky feeling in your mouth feel. You know what I mean? But it doesn't have the weeder flavor. Yeah, no. But it, it it reminds me of that same where you're not getting that spicy Correct. that sometimes you get on the higher rise. That, again, truck driving I think that's by, the, he's uh, bark like a crazy That's bird. probably the biggest dilemma. Because mm -hmm. even the Wella was, what, 90? Yeah. They're just driving by. I mean, there is a lot of flavor in this. There is. And it is very good. It is. I, 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 my, my only drawback would, would have to be that. Because if, if we're going to equate it, because... because well, even, even Old Forest is it? Which is 100. That's what I'm saying. It's not. It, it, so that's, that's the downfall. And again, that's 25. Eh, not always, but ain't fifty. It ain't fifty six either. No, so. I think MSIP was twenty five. What do you what do you say? Not always. Oh, what you paying? Yeah, we paid twenty nine for ours, but still thirty compared actually, to fifty three. Yeah, because I did actually yeah, that one. That one bottle right there, I actually just paid twenty two fifty in that, New Hampshire. That, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's it's. Both, I was thinking the other. The no, other, no, the no, 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 no. Those those are, those are thirty nine, and those yeah. definitely beat it. So that, I mean that that would be my only thing about this one is. This would have been a really good thirty dollar bourbon. It, it's not a really good fifty seven dollars, fifty six dollar bourbon. If, if you're doing a collection, it's it's worth trying. Though I, I wouldn't put it in the in the. I agree. Penelope or the other category. No, no, it, I, it's a very good tasting. Even at fifty six dollars, it's good. But then, is it better than Knob Creek? You know what no. I mean? Because yeah, I mean Knob to me just had a better mouth. I mean, we've haven't, haven't, haven't drank Knob Creek in a, a dog's age. But the nose is coming, really coming around. It, it is. It's a. It's a very good bourbon. It really is. I, I don't know why the price jumped up to like fifty three dollars. I don't. Know. It. But it, it, it. And right, the people I've talked to at the liquor stores are like, <laughs> they, that's just what they're charging us. We, it, so that's exactly that was their answer. That's, they were like, yeah, we have to pay twelve dollars more. You have to pay twelve dollars more. Um. I mean, it is Heaven Hill, so we know what happens with a lot of Heaven Hill products. They're they're all getting. You know, everybody wants them, so uh, it's the I am it's right the now. COVID game. I am right now. You're get, not getting get, a whole rye thing again? No, I'm getting okay. a hint of the butterscotch is starting to come out in a glass. That's what I was kind of waiting on to see if it came out. Mm -hmm. That's what it, it's it, a week, that's what it's week, turning week, to. Yeah. It, it's it's turn it's very it's turning. Like 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 when we drank Oh, it's it's still very good. No, no. It, it again. I, I, I would highly recommend it. I was trying to think of what I what I meant to walk. Um, I don't. With the, did we did you finish that one with the uh, Yellowstone? Yeah, <laughs> definitely not in that category. Mm -mm. No, I haven't. I haven't touched really Penelope and Yellowstone because we, you always refer back to them. So I, I've kind of <laughs> left them alone. Well, I I have gone back and said, all right, I'm going to give Penelope another chance. And again, it's okay. It, it, it's just not fifty dollars okay or whatever we paid for it or whatever you you know what I mean. That, and that's the same thing with Yellowstone. This it's is not, going to be a tough call. It's not going in as no. catch anyway. Yeah. No, this one is very good. It, it is. is very good. And I wouldn't mind having one to put on the shelf. It's going to hurt me when I have to pay $56 for it, though, because it, it just, I knowing in my head that the MSRP I, was $30 know, you, a couple you of years ago. You say that, ago. too. So Ted's had, I think, six or eight of them, and I believe he might be down to one or two. So they, they are going. Oh, no. And he's got them in that, you know. Limited edition type deal because he's only going to get this many. People buy them left and right, and I get that. And it's just one of them things. Uh, we were lucky enough, Steve had brought this one over, and I, that's why I said we, we got to do it so we can bring this I back. I even say, I think Matt and Pat just did this, and they, they paid more than that even. Oh, no, no. Don't, no. Trust me. Well, you know, they, they end up paying, like, secondary prices on a lot oh, of stuff, they, too. They so they when, they say their, when, when, when they say their prices, I don't, can't say that that's what, how they get them. But they always say, oh, I, we paid this, and a lot of theirs is a lot. Again, this is tough to do if you're trying to. I mean, we, we've 
kind of pride in our, well, I shouldn't say pride in ourselves, but our, our kind of goal in all of this was, can we get these for around MSRP? I mean, we, we have paid over uh, for a little bit here and there, and uh, some of them you're just not gonna, but we're trying to stick as close to MSRP as possible, you know, in, in those stores that want to sell it. But for, it and so even, even with that, the, the liquor stores vary from here to here, and we've said this a thousand times, but, mm -hmm. Th in their head, wherever they get their number, that's the MSRP. Mm -hmm. Eight miles down the road, that's their. They, 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 they're thinking that's their MSRP. So, you know what? It's, and I'm sure it's coming from the same vendor or same salesman. Can't have two, three salesmen in this area. No, I just think it's it is it is what it is. The store can put whatever price they want yeah, on. Then they like do. I said, with that that one down there, someone I just was on Facebook the other day, and someone commented on the store that's a handful, you know, like eight miles down the street. He's like, well, they got a they got a well at twelve for four ninety nine. I don't think that one's leaving the shelf anytime soon, you know, because someone put on there like, what's a good price for for well at twelve? And they're like, certainly not that, but you know, certainly not that. No, it is what it is. So, yeah, we we can say it like that. I, I don't believe. I mean, this is actually. Tremo made a great comment too. It's it's if people are willing to pay it, then silly on them. No, I, and and again, that's why like my rant kind of goes both ways. Shame on right. us as consumers because if we're gonna pay that money. I, I understand why people are raising up the prices right. and stuff. So in this case, this is very good. This, this would we be probably will get one of these. And this very much. No, no, I, I, I'll be on a hunt. I'm going to see how, how low we can get it. You know what I mean? We're, we're not going to have to rush out to grab no, one, but no. it, we can hunt for this one and see if I, we can get it for around MSRP. Um, the more I'm drinking it, though, this oh, is right up there with like the, the Knob Creek good, though. It has a nice... Doesn't it has a nice mouth. It doesn't hang as long. No, I, I I put it closer into the old Forester where it's got the good flavor. It's got a good nose, and it it's here. It's not here today, gone tomorrow. But it's 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 not a knob hang. No, no, I, I I'll, I'll give you that. I, all right, -wise, I, I was just though, trying to put close, it because I was equating. It's close it. I, to I a forget nose. this one's a hundred too. The old Forester own hundred. I mean, I, I put it in the same category too. Though it is is you know you can almost throw it into where Evan Williams bottled and bond is. You know what I mean? But it has a little more flavor than that. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But he says, "Oh yeah, I like that." But it's not that much more. I'm telling you, I don't think it is. But I have one at the house right now. The bottle and bond. <laughs> I think he's drunk. I don't know what to say. <laughs> So, all right. Well, we'll keep it short and sweet. Yeah, we have to. Oh, and yeah, because I don't want to have to re up on on Steve's bottle because I'll end up getting it back with two drops left. So, all right. Well, <laughs> Thanks, there you Steve. go. There is. Thank you very much again, Steve. So th there's Subscribe. Henry Can of Ten. Uh, it is very good, but I I have heard they're hit or miss. But this this one is actually very good. It Just is very good. hopefully the price comes back down to what it's supposed to be, and then it'll be a very good thirty dollar bourbon. You know. That's why, because I'm thinking Eagle Rare is 10. That was my other one that was in my hand. Eagle Rare is, is $32, $30 MSRP. I would get that That's one over there. even going up now. Not the MSRP ain't. Well, it's just what people are selling it for. <laughs> so the prices are. There you go. There it is. So spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers. That may be true, but. Yeah, the MSRP isn't going up. It's, it's the price of the.